This Between the Reps episode is sponsored by Neuro Gum. Neuro makes functional gum and mints that help you to better your mind and do more. Imagine your health supplements in your pocket for whenever you go, wherever you go, that you can take throughout the day instead of taking the entire daily dose in the morning. You guys check them out. Not only do they have things to help you feel more energized and focused, but also things like the calm and clarity, where they use ingredients scientifically shown to reduce stress and stabilize mood. Go to getneuro.com to order and better your state of mind now. That's G-E-T-N-E-U-R-O dot com. Use the code REPS for 15% off your first order. Oh, there you are. I'm in bed. Dude, I was actually <laughs> going to say, I hope you're in your kimono. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my boob kind of slips out of that. Oh, that's true. Darn. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Are you recording? Yeah, we're recording. Hey, guys. Ooh. Welcome to another Hey, guys. Episode. Welcome to the... It's Brooke and Gina. Like, is that actually singing? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, it's not. It's um, uh, not. So, what'd you do last night? Um, we went to dinner. Uh huh. And. <laughs> Got a little tuned up? Not intentionally. That was not my intention at all. <laughs> when you called me, I was like, she's a little tuned up. Yeah, not my intention at all. Like, I was exhausted from all day of filming. Stuff, yeah. And I got home. I was so tired. I showered. And Daniel was too. He took, Daniel took a nap. He was exhausted. Uh-huh. I showered. The guy can nap anywhere. I know. Showered, laid in bed for a while. And then my parents have their Saturday night date oh yeah their dinner uh-huh I went downstairs yesterday. I had to blow dry my hair and everything so start getting ready and I came back in the kitchen and I'm like they were laughing because I went and got a glass of that box rosé oh, it's <laughs> still, still <there>. here <laughs> and um uh, what did my cousin my cousin was there my my cousin is literally about to pop about to have her baby and I'm getting a, I'm getting a glass of rosé and she's like, I'm like, I was so tired. She goes, well, doesn't that, because my family, a lot of them like don't drink super often, right? Or not at all. Right. She goes, doesn't, like, won't that make you more tired? And I was like, yeah, but it also will make me feel great. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a glass of rosé while I'm getting ready. Plan is go to dinner. Um, they have really, we went to Feel Love Cafe and they have really great, mm-hmm. uh, like fancy cocktails what's that called uh-huh the word for that i don't know anyways so go there um you know have a have a what did i have dude i told my dad today i was like dad i did it again and he's like i'm like i mixed too many things oh no instead of like, instead that's of like the being word smart a, it yeah. was more like what sounded like letting my friends orders that sounded good like sway like my original order because i was thinking like oh i'll just have wine at dinner because i originally and then i was like oh no i actually i won't get the cab i will have a whiskey sour please and then, <laughs> and then i and then had, it went downhill from there i had a and i think i had three drinks at dinner so i felt great oh nice and uh-huh. I, I had told um sunny and jake i was like hey i mean all right, you guys, just so you know. You thought the had, drinks aren't that strong. No, but also, um, we had made a pact. So the, the new pact is like, we're not drinking. Like, that was the pact. Yeah, we're I know. I remember. But there was a loophole you were gonna... for me. There was a loophole for me. Oh. There was two. One, it was started. it started for me after Montana. Right. Right? And you were like, there's no way I'm going to like not drink with Gina here. Yeah. So, and, and Jake was like, yeah, dude, if your friends, if you're like, your friends are in town, like, okay. So I hadn't, I wasn't drinking and I was thinking like, well, I'm going to have a drink at dinner because Daniel's here and he leaves tomorrow and they have really great whiskey drinks and I'm going to, you know, take him out there. Um, but at dinner, I didn't realize like, like Jake and Sonny were also having a cocktail. Like I thought I was just like getting a glass of wine and, you know, they obviously would understand because Daniel's in town. <laughs> and, 
but then everyone was having drinks. So yeah, that's, how, that's how it I goes. Said, I said, after here, I'm going to take him just to the brewery across the street just to like go and see it and, you know, and then go home. I even told my parents, my dad this morning, he said, so, uh, you, uh, you stayed out later than you had planned. And I was like, yep. <laughs> Oh, look at Daniel in the background. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a creep. Hi. He can't hear you because you're plugged into the... Oh, said, I was like, are you... He, he goes, He goes. you're a creep. He goes, I can't I can't hear you, but I can read your lips. I see you. You're a creep. <laughs> I can't hear him. <laughs> Um, I you. Anyways, we went to what I, he loves you. We went to Wood Ash Rye. Oh, love for, you. Um, Sunny wanted to go there. She like I really like that bar. So we went there and had a drink. I did have, but here's where I had a glass of wine. That's what I had there, glass of wine. Ooh. And then I felt like at that point it was like I mean more than enough, right? I was ready to go home. But yeah. I also was tuned up enough that like when we're walking back to the car, but also is by the brewery, it's like, well, are we going there or are we just going home? And it, all it took was Jake saying, I mean, I'm going to go there. I, I would go there. <laughs> so, then, so then we're like, okay, yeah, we're happy okay, you said well, it. We are we're too. happy you said it because we weren't going to be the ones to say it. So we go in there and you went there. There's there's this new, it's like the only brewery in Southern Utah in St. George and packed because it's like, it's a college town, but there's never really been places for people to like have a college nightlife I guess like restaurants or breweries yeah. that are open late and have music and so went there huge line and of course I walk into again like I'll I swear I'm never going there again unless you're in town so many people <laughs> that I went to high school with yeah so many well and then you're trying to do like the distancing and all of that yeah. and I'm like you know oh, yeah. I'm there with you know my uh, my friends that I was there with in my group, but then every so often it's like, Brooke, hey, Brooke. And I'm like, and I'm drunk enough that I'm like, hey, can't remember any of their names. Oh, I'm the same way. <laughs> so, I remember nobody from high school. And I remember faces anyways. Um, this is a long story that's not short. They had uh, one group of friends uh, bought me a shot of vodka. I took it because I'm not a bitch. <laughs> Because I told myself that that's what made me feel cooler when I decided to keep drinking. And then we were we went we sat down. Remember we're in the couch area where we sat me yeah. and Colby and Courtney. We went to the same place because that that space and table was all open. So we went there, and Sunny served us up two rounds of tequila shots. Oh no! Yep. No. Yeah. I did it. Ooh, it went and down. I did it. Is that a Wait, so was that before after you? Oh, I bet you did. Oh, I did. But did, but did you, was that, be, did you take them before you FaceTime me or after? Mm, I took one before. <laughs> you were feeling good. Dude, I, too much. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up this morning. Uh, I, I love I you. I set my alarm for like, I passed out hard. We weren't even out late. Like we came home because we were walking, yeah. we finished dinner you, at like 9.30. Right. We went and had one glass of wine and we got the chicharrones at Wood Ash Rye. Oh, yeah. And then we left there and I think, when was last call when we were here? It was like 11. Yeah. So we it, they did last call and we left like 30 minutes later. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I got home, you know. Now you're going to go, go train Wait. today. Oh dude. So I'm, I'm so sore from all the filming you guys. We've been, so we've been filming what Daniel's doing in town is we are filming all new. Well, I've been filming all new movement demo videos for the naked training app. Um, and then we're re, we are redoing the coaching videos for each movement with Daniel Jahangard. He's our new coach. I know I've, I feel like I've definitely told you guys that we were hiring him and super excited about it he'll be programming all of our new live program which will be going live in about like a month and a half i'm pretty sure um so we've been doing that we were doing it all day yesterday we trained yet the last few days we trained early morning 
And then we, I filmed and did movements and I'm only doing like each movement because you're starting, starting and stopping a lot because he's coaching, right? So we kind of started out, here's the movement we're doing. These are the faults we're looking for. These are the points of performance, like focus on these things. And I'm like demoing, I'm showing things, how you would do it wrong, how we want you to do it right. And Daniel's coaching. Um, so I'm not doing a ton of reps, but when you are like, I'm holding a barbell or dumbbells or whatever, and every time we're showing people how to get set for something, right? Like how, where are we activating? We got to make sure our shoulders are tight, our core is tight, our, you know, our legs, extend your hips, um, all these things. I'm basically in like this act, I'm in an actively flexed position, like contracted. for hours. <laughs> so right. my, uh, my back is so sore from really having to show how to set your shoulders. And then I'm just holding an empty bar or a, a barbell with like tens on it. So you know, like 65 pounds, 55 pounds. I had a women's bar. Um, yeah. not heavy, not a lot of reps, but I am incredibly sore. Last night I remember telling Jake, I was like, dude, I'm not working out tomorrow. <laughs> I'm only going to do the, the movements, like the, you know, three to five reps or whatever I have to do for everything. That's it. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. Yeah. But, so you have that again today. Yep. Right all day. This, right after this, I'm going to back to the gym to film today. And then I have to fly to Salt Lake because when you guys hear this, obviously, and so we'll have already launched our new line, but I'm going to Salt Lake to be able to be there on Monday when the launch happens. And then I'm coming, That's exciting. Back, coming back in time for my dad's birthday on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. tell your dad I said happy birthday. I will. Um, and your new line is called what? It's called Grit? Grit. The Grit Grit. We kind of did Very a cool. rebranding events where and launched this new line, a new collection. And it's really... I see it's, Colby going to the bathroom behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on the fan, Colby. <laughs> Seriously. We'll, ta we'll time how long snakes. he's been in there. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, hot snakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he. Was I just love. Oh, up I last saw, night. He was. I know. He only gets tuned up when I'm not there, dude. And he rarely. I think he, he has like does. PTSD. Like, like he knows. Like he, he's he doesn't have his defenses up when I'm around. He's like, I can let my defenses down. Gina's not here and actually get drunk. Oh my gosh. But yeah, the grit collection. Uh, we um, very cool. It'll, it's super exciting because, I mean, after COVID, I had got new partners for clothing. Oh. <laughs> he just walked out. Okay, it was just number one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We'd got new, I got new partners for um, Enswear, and then we were all, you know, gearing up to hopefully do just cool stuff together and get it, get the company and everything moving in a good direction so we could actually... Make, ter hopefully turn it into something, you know, profitable, right. big, create items that I want, that people want, that Gina wants. And then COVID hit and it was like, oh, kibosh, like there we did, we could do nothing. It was so difficult for everybody. And especially right. for people in businesses where you weren't just selling a program online because, <laughs> or things you could film at your house. Like if you, any company anywhere. I mean, your family, you're, you guys dealt with it too. It's like no one could ship anything. There wasn't enough inventory. Um, my aunt and uncle have a furniture store here in Southern Utah and they, they couldn't like pr trying to purchase, um, furniture, house stuff to bring into the store. If you're a buyer, you know, you go and you buy all your stuff, but everything was shut down. They basically had to buy crates of like, just think like if you get an item, you see a picture of it and you have to buy a whole crate of stuff because like everything was backed up so much for shipping that you're basically forced to buy way more than what you probably need, but you have, that's the way you have to get it and then just hope that you sell all of it. Right. Like, it's, it's, that's terrifying. Well, mm. It's like a huge gamble, terrifying. And in our case, yeah. You know, you just couldn't get stuff with Athea skincare. Um, they actually had to re, uh, re, they had to change certain ingredients. They had to find substitute, substitute ingredients and actually change the 
formula. the recipe, the formula first. Yeah. And actually, a lot of people liked the newer formula for this for the cleanser, but they had to change stuff because you couldn't get stuff. You couldn't get the ingredients. You couldn't right. get. <laughs> it's it's crazy, yeah. man. And I'm People really don't. hoping that things start to, you know, right now how like California's back to where things are opening up again. Like really fingers right. crossed, hoping that we just we keep taking little steps forward versus like a step forward and fifty steps back. And then fifty steps back, exactly. Yeah. My sisters because I, I've mentioned it before, but our family owns um I think it's eight stores, it's eight, eight uh ace hardwares. And I think what we forget is that these people who are in these, who are working in essential businesses like that, uh, a lot of the customers, I mean, they're, they're exhausted. My sister broke down the other day and just said, I, I don't know if I, if I can do this anymore because they're working on, first of all, I don't know if a lot of people know, but uh, people have the option to not work if they don't feel comfortable during COVID. So a lot of people will choose not to work and stay at home and collect unemployment but they have to have, at least here, they have to have their jobs still available. So you're working on, a, you know, with less people. Um, they're exhausted. They're working overtime. And then they have customers coming in complaining that they don't have something in when it has nothing to do with them. I mean, somebody was mad at my sister because something wasn't in and she was like I'm sorry we're in a pandemic <laughs> we can't get it it's not our fault it's not that our business is you know shitty it's just we can't get it and you have pe- and I'm sorry but you know that that shovel you wanted is is just not that important right now yeah. <laughs> like, it's just it's it, it, we have to remember that our people that are working in essential businesses are um, and I understand, you know, customers are on edge and I mean, everybody's on edge cause they're just so exhausted from this whole thing. Um, but we have to learn to be patient. So I was just talking to her about it and she's just, she's done. Yeah. Like, I'm just ready to quit. <laughs> she can't quit. She runs the whole thing. <laughs> so, and, um, and remembering too, like if you go to a store, like, uh, like nine times out of 10, that store doesn't make the thing they're selling you like right there okay. like they, where they just have it. Like even, and even if they do right. make it or put it together, a lot of the things they need to do that come from somewhere else. They have to right. order them in, you know, everything's coming from somewhere else. And if it's, there's a lot of people in play, like a lot of big process and something like COVID just really, you know, threw a wrench in, the, in it. It did, it, yeah. made it near impossible. I mean, for an yeah, entire like get, year, for so right, long. It's like getting mad at the checkout person at the grocery store because there's no toilet paper. <laughs> They're not at home rolling toilet paper for you're you. Like, you're taking it out on the wrong person, man. <laughs> you're on the wrong person. My, uh, Sarah was telling me, my friend Sarah, that she went to the grocery store the other day and the clerk, uh, as she was getting going to the counter, you know, they have the six feet apart. Yeah. And so the person was checking out and then she pushed her cart up. So she is still six feet away from the other person. And I guess, and she has her twins with her and they're little. And I guess the checkout lady took her cart and pushed it back and said, six feet oh. and bonked, her, bonked Jackson in the head, one of her kids. She was like, I cannot believe, and she's a very mild mannered person. And of course, you know, her child was crying and she was like, I cannot believe this woman. And then, you know, we were talking about it and she said, yeah, but I did hear one of the other people in the produce department telling another customer that they normally had 115 employees and they were working with 67 employees or something like that at the time. So it's kind of like, we all have to, I mean, it's not okay to hit somebody's child in the head and I don't think she meant to but it's you know everybody is just kind of on edge done and then (laughs) they're done just end up like taking it out on (laughs) on the wrong people you know innocent bystanders (laughs) yeah yeah a seven-year-old child (laughs) you're like hey we're all we all quit (laughs) we all quit yeah everybody needs a chill This year, we're all looking forward to a fresh start, a 
a great way to start fresh is with some self-care and fresh scents from Native. Native Aluminum Free Deodorant is a great addition to your 2021 routine. Native cares about what you put on your armpits. That's why their deodorant's ingredients list includes things you've actually heard of like coconut oil and shea butter. Switching to Native from an antiperspirant doesn't mean you'll have to worry about that midday BO either. Native will have you walking around smelling like coconut and vanilla, citrus and herbal musk, or maybe even lavender and rose. Native has so many great scents to choose from, and I've tried quite a few to be honest, but currently I'm really loving the citrus musk. It's the citrus and herbal musk. Musk makes it sound like something that I wouldn't necessarily want to use, but you would be surprised how good it really, really smells. Make the switch to Native today by going to nativedeo.com slash reps or use promo code reps at checkout and get 20% off your first order. That's nativedeo.com slash reps or use promo code reps at checkout for 20% off your first order. This Between the Reps episode is sponsored by Neuro Gum. Neuro makes functional gum and mints that help you to better your mind and do more. Imagine your health supplements in your pocket for whenever you go, wherever you go, that you can take throughout the day instead of taking the entire daily dose in the morning. Neuro is loved by Olympians, engineers, academics, fitness enthusiasts, and people who are stuck working from home right now alike. The company was started by athletes who have backgrounds in neuroscience and chemistry. These patented cold compressed gum and mints are gluten-free, sugar-free, vegan, and work much faster than drinks or supplements. You guys check them out. Not only do they have things to help you feel more energized and focused, but also things like the calm and clarity, where they use ingredients scientifically shown to reduce stress and stabilize mood. Go to getneuro.com to order and better your state of mind now. That's G-E-T-N-E-U-R-O dot com. Use the code REPS for 15% off your first order. Well, I was going to read a question. Yeah, do it. I found, okay, I found this question really, it's very long, but it was really I don't know if I'd read it to you before. Oh, first of all, I was going through some emails and a bunch of people are asking for planners again. So I, I don't know if they've been listening to the old ones. Yeah. But uh, one of them even said old 2020 planners. Those were old 2019 planners. <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so um, thank you so much for writing in. Uh, if you wanted a planner, we, I think we had a few of those left, we do, but they're in, they're in storage somewhere. storage unit. They're Which deep, we can't even get to because deep in my storage unit, and until I can, you know, until I can buy find a home, home. Uh, and I don't know when that will be. So until I can do that, I don't see myself really going through that storage unit. Yeah, not, at least not yeah, enough so to when, like find like all like the small boxes that are stacked up and figure out which one has my planners in it. Exactly. So thank you for writing in, but we probably won't have one being sent out. Someone even said that they wanted a picture of. Uh, my neck dick skin. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) You know, here, here, what's so funny about that is like, (laughs) I don't feel like people, like many people could ask that (laughs) <laughs> and like feel like pretty good about that question to anyone else like you know what i want gina like that's gina that's how that's how much that you and i just make fun of ourselves i know i was dying so, so like, for okay. anybody who doesn't know what i'm talking about at one point i joked that because i have i have i'm getting older too but i've never loved my neck and when i do like a neck photo i said that my neck was like thick skin like, so. her, like if she tries to like give herself a double chin <laughs> just oh no i have like a bullfrog it's like this big bullfrog oh. and then like thick skin underneath <laughs> it's Freak. so attractive have you seen those things going around 
where you're supposed to put your camera down and to see like yes. what a guy sees yes. when you're like on top. Yes. And- it's so funny. <laughs> and every video I see, it's always the girl being like, ah, oh, I can't be that bad. And then she puts her phone down and gets gets up over and just like, oh man, oh my god, that's exactly. I know. Should, I I don't. When I get when I get back to stay with you, we should make one of those videos for our IG. <laughs> I look bad laying on my back, let alone that way. No, you don't. Oh, oh my gosh. I'll okay, hold, so yeah, I'll, hold, on, I'll hold my camera and I'll get above you while you're laying down and film. <laughs> And you hold and then your switch ca- it. and switch it. <laughs> then I'll flip the camera. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay. I was trying to find. Sorry. No, while you're, I looking, had it here. While you're looking, I'll just give um, an update. All right, guys. So yeah, do it. I've seen some people who, are, first of all, are wanting me to post a photo of my my condom hat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh-huh. Head, head condom. <laughs> I'll do that on our IG. Um, okay. I have been wearing it. Here's mm-hmm. where here's where I'm at with it. So it's not super fun to wear a beanie at night. <laughs> it's not it's not great to have a beanie on my head. I get hot. I run hot. So I've like gotten more where like I would wear it and it kind of would put it all the way over my hair. Um it's too small, like it's too close to being a beanie size. Like a droopy beanie, but not, it's not big enough or like long enough for me to have like my long, my hair in there. So I've tried putting it all in there. It's too much. So now I just, I'll braid my hair and I've tried, you know, just putting it on braid down the side, out the side. So just focusing on the hair that is on the pillow. And now I'm where I roll up the sides and it's more just like <laughs> a cap. Like, like on I, the back of your I, head. I roll it up because I, it bothers me and then I on oh, my ears. Oh like yeah. If it's like over my ears. So and then I, I'll put it on and I end up waking up in the morning and at some point I like I got really mad at it and I I've taken it off and like <laughs> thrown it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just I get to, really mad at it. I'm just gonna order silk pillowcases, which I actually had ordered some. Um and they were really shitty quality i'm like i'm not gonna sleep on this the satin yeah. that was in the in the beanie like in the hat was way softer way nicer so i'm gonna order some not some good silk pillowcases and go with that instead of the hat um yeah that's where i'm at with it not it's not working for me it's uncomfortable <laughs> at nighttime it's, like it sits weird on my ears it's not tight but i have like yeah ear piercings and I feel like when I sleep and it just having something right against your ears, like wearing a, like wearing a beanie too long. You, yeah. Um, you can wear glasses that aren't heavy at all, but if you have it on too long, your ears kind of start to hurt. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to want to sleep in my glasses. Yeah. But I did, <laughs> I ordered this new hair serum to try. And I'm going to pull up a picture of it so I don't have to leave. So I can show you what it looks like. And I was like, is it the Vegamore or whatever? Yes. Yes. So this is what it looks like. That's that's how you say it. So yeah, Vegamore. I'm going to go with Vegamore. I'm going to show you this picture because it's a little cat laying by it. Can you see it? (laughs) Oh, even cats endorse it. (laughs) This is how cats have such great hair. (laughs) This cat used to be hairless. (laughs) However, um, one side effect, hair falls out very fast and gets all over your clothes. (laughs) <laughs> also, you might start creating dander and make everyone allergic to you. <laughs> but I ordered this. I for inst- Instagram for sure. My phone's was has been listening to me. Oh yeah, you know, so it knows. Like, oh, you're losing lots of hair. Oh, you're oh, going bald. You're, oh, your hair is shitty. Oh, you have shitty you're hair. You're getting all, all these, these ads. For all these brands of different hair products to like help your hair grow. And also, though, being overloaded with, you know, supplements and these things for your hair. I'm like, which one do I choose? Like, if there's all these yeah. things, like, which one's the one that might work? Because I've always been under the impression, too, that, you know, a lot of this shit doesn't actually work. 
Well, you know, that, and unfortunately, then, it's and true. every pregnant woman's like, "Oh, just take this," and I'm like, "Yeah," and then you see their hair, and they're like, "Yeah," and then I'm like, "Yeah," but you're gonna you're gonna lose all that shit when that baby comes out. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, so I don't know <laughs> if I can trust those like the uh, vitamins or whatever. What are the things that they tell you to take when you're pregnant? Do you know? Oh, it's mostly yeah, supplements, vitamins. Okay, like yeah. a prenatal. So I looked, up, I looked up the Vegamore or Vegamore or whatever and was trying to read a lot of reviews and a lot of stuff. It says like you have to put, it's a serum. It doesn't seem really oily. It's more almost like watery, I guess. And yeah. you just part your hair into sections and it has like a little uh, dropper. You fill it up and uh-huh. you just kind of put little drops on your scalp in all the different sections and then you kind of rub it in, like massage it in. It's a little bit more difficult for me because I have a bunch of fake hair in my in my head. Only difficult because I have to. Get what if it in only between, made your fake hair grow? I have to get in between the wefts. Um, but I, you're supposed to use it every day, so you use it every day. You just put it on your scalp. You don't have to wash it out. I've just been doing it at night, um, focusing on like my what's this, my 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 like your crown my crown back here um by the sides of my like by my face by my hairline and you got to use it every day and a lot of people say you start to see a really big difference with um new hair growth and things like that around like like three months so it takes some time three months yeah so i'm trying to do (laughs) that that. i heard yeah i'm trying to do that i was talking oh sorry go ahead you go ahead no you go ahead Oh, no, no, you, no, you. Um, uh, I was talking to Maureen, my friend Maureen, yeah. and she said that she had bought it for her husband, Jeff. Oh, I actually was and, thinking about that. I wanted to get it for my dad. It's his birthday on Tuesday. Yeah, hey, dad, but what's funny is this that... Is the, this is the real test. Can we get you to grow some hair? <laughs> I know. Well, what, what's funny is that she bought it, and she was telling him, assuming that he knew he was starting to thin at the back of his head, but he didn't know. <laughs> And she said he got real defensive. He like said something mean about like not mean about her, but it was like, well, you have wrinkles or something like that. Like got. I had to like pick something out about her too. Like, oh well. Yeah. Yeah. He got super defensive. The skin on your the skin on your hands is looking really old. (laughs) Yeah. It reminds me of uh, in uh, the uh, what was it. Uh, Ace Ventura when he gets real defensive and he says saddlebag oh, yeah. <laughs> he goes okay saddlebag <laughs> but I was telling her I said well just don't even tell him just wait till he's asleep and just you can take the dropper and just be dropping it on the back of his head while he's sleeping <laughs> and then like or they just put it on your hands like on, yeah and then act and like then, and when like, you're like him, making him, out or give something. him like a massage like is that I think just like <laughs> yeah. rub his head <laughs> He'll thank you later. But yeah, I saw, uh, um, I've seen, there was one girl. Do you remember the like plus size, beautiful model? She was on, she did Sports Illustrated. She may have been like the first like plus size model that was on Sports Illustrated. What is her name? Dark hair, beautiful. People that are listening, definitely. And I, I can picture her, yeah. I feel like she was on their Instagram and she was talking about it and she was showing all this new hair growth and it was like her whole hairline looked like she had um <laughs> i feel like it reminds me of like a monk haircut but she had like all these little hairs oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the way around her hairline and she was like showing her oh, wow. hair growth so oh. i was like okay i'm like i'm going to i'm going to do this i'm going to i'm going to see if this will work and i'm going to actually read this to you guys because it was really interesting to me when i was reading about it hey me Make sure you don't put it too far down. You just end up with a super short forehead. For real. All right. Connect it to your eyebrows. It is the Grow Scalp Detoxifying Serum. They have hair, they have shampoo and stuff too, but let's see if I can read to you exactly what this says that it does because it made a lot of sense to me. And I'll try it for all of you. <laughs> I'll see if it works. We'll see if it actually... I'll be your guinea pig. The science. Yeah, I want to know the science. Well, if the bush is coming back, maybe I'll start putting it on my oh, hoo-ha. Oh, yeah, dude. See if I can... <laughs> 
You know, I did all that laser. Now the bush is coming back. Dude, the bush is back. Oh, okay, okay. go. You turn to Vigamore with luscious lashes and beautiful brows. Okay, next comes a re revolutionary natural hair serum with the same amazing results. So they, they must have started with lash and brow serum. Um, there are many causes for thinning or loss, genetics, aging, or, chi or childbirth, to name a few. So yeah, when you have a baby. It's time to stop hiding the problem and start fixing it. We've taken our proprietary, proprietary plant-based, cruelty-free formula and enhanced it with powerful new phytoactives known to inhibit DHT production, extend the hair's growth phase, protect the and strengthen the roots to bring you thicker, fuller hair, stimulate your follicles without harsh chemicals, um, carcinogens, or scary side effects, apply daily. So what it talked about is that um, they were saying like DHT production, I think that that's a hormone. And I think as we get older, we produce more of it. And that's like a main cause for like baldness, like losing hair. Um, okay. So the idea is that the ingredients they have in it is suppresses that. So okay. I'm like, I'm like, maybe I'm over here just like producing so much of this DHT. That's why my hair, because it <laughs> talks about like, um, it was even talking about like having like really like drier hair or like really fine, but like dry hair that just breaks all the time. Like I grow hair. I have a lot of hair, but it's just so fine and it's dry. And then you put me in, you know, in the desert, However, I lived in California for a long time, and uh, it's not dry there, but hair, Still was, wasn't growing. hair was the same. <laughs> hair was right. definitely right. the same. <laughs> so, yeah, I found it really interesting even learning about DHT. Well, we'll have to come back to it in three months. We'll see, see what the progress is. Yeah, I'll keep, I'm going to keep using it. Consistency we'll keep is keep you key, posted, guys. Says. This episode is brought to you by Four Sigmatic, a wellness company that is well known for its delicious mushroom coffee. I know that sounds crazy, but it's actually extremely incredible. Four Sigmatic's mushroom coffee is real organic, fair trade, single origin Arabica coffee with lion's mane mushroom for productivity and chaga mushroom for immune support. And I am a huge supporter of lion's mane. In fact, that is something that I was using very regularly after my cervical fusion. Um, it's one mushroom supplement ingredient, whatever you want to call it, that has shown many signs for nerve reproduction um, and mending. There, there's not a lot you can necessarily do to try and get your nervous system to re recover or grow faster. And I was using lion's mane I've been starting my day with Four Sigmatic's ground mushroom coffee with lion's mane instead of regular coffee. It's amazing, and I absolutely feel an uptick in my productivity every time I drink it. It helps me focus like nothing else. Mushroom coffee is also easy on my gut, which is very important to me. My stomach is, it gets so upset so easily. And this, it doesn't leave me with any awful jittering feeling or midday crash. Over 20,000 five-star reviews, and best of all, Four Sigmatic backs their products with a 100% money-back guarantee. Love every sip or get your money back. We've worked out an exclusive order with Four Sigmatic on their best-selling mushroom coffee, but this is just for Between the Reps listeners. Get up to 40% off plus free shipping on mushroom coffee bundles. To claim this deal, you must go to foursigmatic.com slash reps. This offer is only for Between the Reps listeners and is not available on their regular website. You'll save up to 40% off and get free shipping. So go right now for foursigmatic.com slash reps. That's F-O-U-R-S-I-G-M-A-T-I-C dot com slash reps and fuel your productivity and creativity with some delicious mushroom coffee. You guys... You have to try it. Don't be scared or nervous because it's mushroom coffee. I know it sounds crazy, but in fact, mushrooms are, an in are incredible. They do amazing things, and especially lion's mane. I am a huge backer of this mushroom. I think that everyone should be supplementing it. You've got to check out Four Sigmatic Coffee. 
Gina and I, we joke a lot about things that bother us, whether it's about ourselves or, you know, things that are hard to handle emotionally, um, mentally. And that's definitely a way that we cope with those things. But to be honest with you, we would not get through them if we weren't actually speaking with someone, a licensed professional, a counselor. And BetterHelp has been extremely helpful for me because my schedule is so crazy. I travel a lot and they make it so easy. It makes it, they make it so easy to change counselors. They make it so easy to schedule either, you know, video chats or just direct message with your counselor that it's a no brainer. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Can, you can connect in a safe, private online environment. It's super convenient. And you can start communicating in under 24 hours. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. We want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com reps. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash reps for 10% off your first month. All right, read the question. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to read her name because it's kind of private. Yeah. Um, okay. So it says, Hey, Gina and Brooke, I love your podcast. I came across Brooke's workout videos this past summer and I've been hooked to all of your videos, <clears throat> excuse me, vlogs and podcasts since you guys are brilliant and makes me a bit jelly about your friendship. It is so lovely to see that some relationships are so genuine. Well, thank you. Thank you. In one of the podcasts that I listened to a few weeks ago, Gina was so mindful and meticulous about explaining about relationships, daughters, wedding. So I'm seeking your advice for a strange situation that I have. Uh, she says where she's at. She goes, I'm in my thirties, was in a casual relationship with a guy, but he was already in a stable relationship. She has that in quote, mm-hmm. which I knew from the start. Okay. That's a, that's one red flag. Yep. Um, his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I said her name. Uh, uh, his girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, not like they're going to find out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is very sweet and beautiful. I don't know her personally, but from whatever he said, he wanted to introduce me to her as friends, which I refused because it is unfair to her. It'll be really awful. Should I be in her place more than physical attraction? He and I were really good friends. Our frequency banter and laughter is why I got involved. This was going on for a year or more. Then a couple of months ago, I suspected that he was into another guy, a married man. It was, of course, shocking. So I confronted him with what I suspected, but he categorically denied it. Eventually, I found evidence. Then he came over to convince me his phone was constantly buzzing with messages. He is now speaking to another third woman. She is the best friend of his girlfriend. This is sticky. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, His girlfriend is also my age, and he said she wants to have kids with him. She's highly educated and has a better job than him. They've been in this relationship for 15 years, is what he told me. But others who know him told me that it's only six years. I don't know how much he said is true and how many lies. The other guy is also someone that I knew very briefly, and he got married just this past summer. A few months after starting the affair with this guy, the girl he married is also well-educated. She's a doctor, very beautiful, and is from a good family. These two meet up at the other guy's house every week when the other women are not home. (laughs) For one, I feel extremely stupid and sad and depressed having involved being involved with this guy. Then I feel extremely angry that guys like this exist to destroy the lives of women like this. Their partners haven't suspected anything yet because... Well, being their better halves, they are also focusing on getting better in their profession. To make matters worse, he and I work together. I'll have to work with him every day. So even my work life is messed up. I have these moments of extreme anger. I feel like reaching out to these women and telling them the truth. But then I'm also extremely cautious that I might end up hurting them both. Some friends of mine that I discussed this with, mostly my male friends, have all advised me to just forget about it and move on. It is easier said than done. I'm not angry that he is into another guy. I'm glad I'm not with him anymore. My anger is about how vile and deceitful they both are. By the way, we are all in Europe, all in our 30s, all with high-paying corporate jobs and live in modern society, so being gay isn't a stigma. So I don't see any other compelling reason for being such cheats. 
Gina, you sound so wise when it comes to relationships. I know this isn't a relationship anymore, but from women's point of view, what would be your advice to me? Should I let the other women know? Should I be even worried about it? Also, how to channel my anger to forget forget about this whole situation? Well, <clears throat> first of all, if you're choosing to, first of all, I don't think you should say anything. What do you think? Okay. You think she should tell the other women? No. Okay. Let me, let me, let me speak. Let me speak. I know it's hard to wrap it's your like head. That. This is it's a very like a, uh, complex situation. It's a double-edged so, sword. It's like you're yeah, going to hurt I, no matter what you do. So on one hand, uh, from what I've, re- what, from what I understand, just from like what you wrote, cause I'm sure that this is like even way more complex and like emotional you being in it than what you like wrote in the, in the email. You know what I mean? There's so much, I'm sure it's just so yeah. much more complicated and, and, you know, uh, just things you're dealing with or have dealt with that you can't really, we can't really get just from an email. Um, there is the whole thing like, you know, you'd want to, if you could think to yourself like, if, well, if it were me, I would want to know. Um, it seems, it sounds like how com- how uh, complicated and like sketchy and like uh, so much back and forth and confusing and so many different people. It, it seems like if their partners don't already, who is that? Sorry, Colby was walking behind you and waved. Oh. <laughs> you, could, you, you could, you could admit, you could assume that you don't need to be the one to make yourself more involved in all this stuff, like basically all this drama that you know about from hearing about it from other people. Um, and you would probably, I, you could assume that like it's, it's going to fall apart at some point. Like there's no way it won't because right. it's so there's, there's like too much going on. There's like too many, the too many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> like at some point yeah. they're, you know, they're going to handle their own stuff. Um, you could think to yourself like, you know, maybe you really, maybe they really are really good at keeping it private and being really sneaky. And you really don't believe that they'll ever get caught. Or maybe you have this desire or this feeling that's telling you over and over and over again, like you need to tell, you need to tell them, you need to tell them. If you have that, I would say, if you have this feeling that keeps telling you like the story, like, you know, the, the, a thought in the back of your mind, it's like, you have to tell them, you need to tell them, then I would do it. But if you don't have that and you've already, like you've separated yourself from that whole situation I wouldn't get more involved. Right. Personally. I think that the that if you are more focused on yourself and making yourself more healthy and you have to kind of go back. I think a lot of women find themselves in these situations because it's it's they don't know their own self-worth. Mm-hmm. So they choose to put themselves in situations and you have to kind of go back to where you start in the beginning getting involved with somebody that you knew was involved with somebody else. Mm-hmm. So if that's the case too, I would just focus on, on finding out how to make yourself, you know, find that self worth before doing any of this. Because I think part of it too, is that if you're, if you're just wanting to tell them, if you're convincing, I mean, if you really feel like you're doing it for the better of them, but there's also a bit of, of a revengeful feeling of wanting to hurt the people that hurt you. Yeah. Like out them. These, these two guys. Yeah. And, and wanting to hurt them. So if that's your motivation, that's probably not the best thing to do. And it could be, it could be would different be, would too. Would be my like, advice. Also like no judgment on you and, and any of this. I, no. We, we, me and Gina do not judge at all. Um, it any could, of us could, could find be, ourselves could in a, a situation. Yes, it could be a different situation, like different scenario. If 
you didn't know that you were getting involved with someone that had another sort of life um and you you discovered that and then you also discovered like all this other shit and there's these there are the there are these innocent people that you saw as innocent that you felt the need to be like i just re i just learned this and you need to know this but because it was already a sort of like muddy i don't want i don't want to say the word deceitful but it was like a little deceitful start i think just you've realized that you that that's not what you want you realize there's so much drama and complication and that that's not good for you and you're recognizing that you're seeing other people's situation you're hearing the drama you're seeing this it's like you're watching like a really bad movie right um you don't need to fix it like that's not yours to fix that's what i would think um yeah, you, it, you, it, did you started getting you into something. Yeah, you started to get into something right. that probably felt like you know he has a girlfriend, but you know just because there's a goalie doesn't mean you can't score. I <laughs> 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 always like that saying. You know, he's got a girlfriend, but like maybe you really liked him and you hit it off really well, so you you ch- you tested it out. You spent more time together and you just got in too deep. And in the middle of that, you learned all this well, stuff. Well, and who knows what he was telling her yeah, at the time, 100%. too. 100%. So I'm saying, like, yeah. I just feel like you are uh, you are better off to stay out of it, you know? And, and it'll, it'll, be, it'll be better for you. It'll be better for your mental health, you long-term. You know, you've recognized a lot of things that you don't want. You know, you thought you maybe, maybe you thought you did, but now it's like, no, I don't want that. That's not, doesn't make me feel good. Um, being in a situation like that and learning all these things about those people has got to make your self-worth go down a lot. And that should not, you need to have all the self-worth. Like you are worthy of, you're worthy of someone who isn't deceitful and, and wants to be with you and isn't constantly searching for something in other people, you know, and the best way for you to, one start believing that is you just gotta you gotta move on you gotta yeah you know and and that's it sucks that that's and so almost hard. look at it like so like you dodged the bullet 100 percent. and it's so hard that you like you said you work with him like that is tough man and i don't it's gonna take some serious self-control and honestly you're gonna have to get i would say i i'm 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 shooting from the hip here, but when I say these things to you guys, or I'm like giving you advice, you don't have to take it just so you know, too, like this well, might not work for I, you. <laughs> I just feel like I have to say that, but you right. know, maybe what, what I would do in that situation, um, and anyone could might have to do this. If you just work with someone who you had a falling out with, it could be a friend, it could be whatever, but you still have this job and you still have to deal with them or see them really often. You got to give yourself like, um, rules, you know, boundaries, boundaries, and you gotta, yeah. you're going to have to really commit to yourself because you love yourself. And cause you, you know, that you, you, you gotta stick to those rules, those boundaries. Like, um, if you find yourself, like maybe you're walking down the hall and you hear this person like talking in an office and you kind of slow down because you want to hear that you can't, it's like, you can't give them the time of day. You've got to do everything you can to make sure your focus and what you're thinking about doesn't get pulled into that direction that's going to, and ultimately, it's going to make you feel bad. You know, it's going to be constantly, do do more things for yourself that make you feel good about yourself. Do more things, you know, that are going to keep, for a while, I would say, keep your mind busy, like keep you busy, keep you working on things that make yeah. you feel good, keep you working on things that make you feel productive. And over time, like, I mean, obviously different, but same in a sense when I was going through like divorce stuff, like I was, dude, I was so broken, like emotionally, mentally for a very long time. And I was there with Gina when she went through it too, you know, and she went through it first and then I was going through it and kind of what she would tell me is like, she would say, it's just, it's just time. Like, and it's going to take a long time, but over time it, you will just start to feel better and there will still be moments, you know, you have lots of firsts. So there'll still be moments where 
you know, you, you get sad again, or you're kind of pulled back into like that dark state of feeling really, um, like you're going to implode almost, but the amount of time you're there, it shortens, you get better at pulling yourself up, you know, moving on, you get better at changing, you know, thinking about something different, moving your focus to something better. And it's just from practice and it's just from time. So you just need to, I would say you need to start as soon as possible putting like you're, you know, moving in a better direction for you. And I don't think going deeper into that, that, uh, situation drama, that you, you're yeah. not that you're not involved with and you're, you've already pulled yourself out of, that's not going to be great for you. And you really need to, no. we all love to help people. Um, and I do believe that in certain situations, if you have an opportunity to help someone and I, but not like this situation, uh, you can do right. that, whether it's like, especially if, if someone's health's involved or safety, but I think that you, you can't do that if you yourself are not strong or ready for it too. It's kind of like on an airplane, like you put, you know, you put your mask on first and then you put it on your kids. <laughs> Right, right. You know, we need you to we need yeah. you to take care of you first. Good analogy, B. Good like analogy. That? I was pretty proud of it, but yeah. I also was chuckling as I yeah, said. Yeah, that was a guys, good one. You guys, we just need to we we all I always used to hate that too on the airplane and they'd say that and be like, What? I would totally put the mask on my kids first <laughs> when I was like, you know, younger. But the truth is you can't help anybody if you're not alive, right? right? You have to help yourself first and then and then take care of others. Right. Yeah. So yes, I, I would say the same thing. You just, I, I would stay out of it. Yep. Because I would wonder what uh, it, it just feels messy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's a tough one. That's a toughie. Well, good luck to you. And hopefully that helped. I hope, and it, I mean, it was a complicated situation. You know, it's hard, it's, and it's we, hard when you tell somebody it just takes time because it's, it seems like such an easy thing, but you, it, but like you said, it's, you have to make a decision for yourself. And a lot of people feel like they don't have control and you have to take that control back. Yep. And hopefully learn a lesson from it so that when you're in a situation and you're meeting somebody again, you can see the signs before you get involved in something like that again. Mm -hmm. So maybe just use it as a learning tool and yeah, obviously we're not relationship experts guys. Use it as a learning tool and then, and then start a podcast (laughs) and then teach people about it. (laughs) These are the signs I learned when I, (laughs) I fell As into I the sit traps. In my giant bed fell, by myself. I fell into the traps of these things, these things, these, and now I'm here to share with you the signs. Right. <laughs> well, I really hope that helps. Um, and one, thanks for writing in, and for one, like that's so complicated, and I feel pretty honored that you trust me and Gina enough, or you want our and you want our insight input. or input or um you just want to listen to us try and f- like figure it out together like we're thinking about it we're like all right man this is complicated like which way do we go like, in a maze oh man the wheels are <laughs> no. turning wheels are turning oh I've, I've changed my mind i've changed my mind we're gonna <laughs> let's let's actually know that i said it out loud that made no sense let's rework it back to the drawing board <laughs> start over back to the drawing board. starting over <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we love you. Anyway. And I have to go film some movies. You guys. <laughs> yeah, for uh, hours and hours. So well, <laughs> well, thanks, you guys, for listening. And don't forget to rate, review, subscribe. Rate, review, subscribe. Five, five star, star rating, five star, star warning. warning. We'll talk to you next week. And we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.